Hey everybody, how are you doing? I hope you're having an amazing day so far. And I wanted to come at you as promised with our mop. It's one of the most coveted items in the catalog. And before I do, I'm just going to give a few takes here. I know that it makes it easier for you to find us. There we go. So our mop, it is one of the most coveted items in the catalog. It is super fantastic. Huge disclaimer right off the hop, it is the most expensive mop you will ever buy, but it is the last mop you will ever buy. So in the end, you'll be saving yourself a ton, especially if you're using things like a wet jet on your floor right now. So you are going to have a few different options on how to get your mop, but I'm going to tell you um, right off the hop, if you would like to get it the cheapest way possible, um, and you don't have any special needs with your flooring, no pets, no tile, nothing like that, then I highly recommend you go for our large superior mop system. So it comes with the telescopic handle, the Velcro base, and two pads, a dry pad for sweeping and a wet pad for mopping, which I'm gonna get into in just a second. So first of all, before you start mopping, you're going to want to make sure that you give it a quick twist and you adjust it so it's between your chin and your nose. That's where it's most ergonomic. And then this dry pad, it's like having a dusting mitt for your floors. It's incredible. So you're going to just do like a figure eight motion once you've got your mop adjusted because it's going to hold on to that fine dirt and pet hair, but you're going to be chasing the Cheerios and the dog food around. So you want to make sure that your leading edge stays the same for you. And then you just make a pile by your garbage can and use your rubber brush to sweep it into your dustpan. Super easy. Now, you're going to see, we have a golden retriever. So this mop pad, I just gave it a lot of work. We could, we could do a dry sweep of our floors like three times a day, no joke. Um, so this pad is great for like mild pet hair, but if you have pet hair like me, you're gonna find this thing can't keep up with you. So check this out. Can you see all that pet hair? It's crazy. So we could literally do this three times a day. Now, if you are getting ready for a wet mop, you are going to want to use your dry pad on the floors first. Don't use a vacuum because it doesn't quite get everything and then you end up with streaks and things all over your floors. So um, after you've made your pile, take your pad on the base and take it to your garbage can and just brush it off with a rubber brush. You are going to be able to judge me huge right now. Check that out. Blah. Now, if you are going to buy a $140 mop, which is how much this system costs if you buy this version of it, um, we also have ways to customize it for a little bit more. But if you're gonna buy a $140 mop, please buy a $16 brush that'll make you love it. And again, this thing is amazing on pet hair. Um, upholstered furniture, rugs, carpeting, vehicles, you name it. If you have a pet that sheds, you absolutely need a rubber brush. It's unreal. So, then you put the static charge back into your dry pad and it's good to go for next time. You will know that it's time to launder your dry pad when you stamp it on the floor and you don't feel resistance. But as long as it's got the static charge, it's good to go. And I've probably used this one, I don't know, like I feel like 20 demos this has gone through and it's still got the static charge. It's crazy, it goes a long time. After your mop has lost the static charge, throw it into the washer, throw it into the dryer, the same instructions as your regular microfiber, no bleach, no fabric softener, dryer sheets, no linty loads, but wash it with your other Norwex, wash it with t-shirts, jeans, um, sheets, lint-free sheets, and then throw it all into the dryer and that will bring a static charge back to these pads and you're adjusting it to 100%, it's amazing. If you are like me and you have pets in your house, you might wanna consider upgrading that dry pad and going for the chenille dry pad. Now I know it looks crazy, it's super indulgent, it does cost more, so definitely don't go for this if you don't have pet hair, but if you do, it's honestly a game changer. From the gal with the golden retriever <laughs> to fellow pet owners, it is unreal. You can do a lot more of your floors with this um, without having to clean it off. You don't have to clean it you know, as you move throughout your house, it's amazing. Um, it just grabs the pet hair, pulls it under into these nubbies and you're good to go, so that's really amazing. And then you just, Clean it out with your rubber brush again. Your head. Now when it's time for a wet mop, you're going to go for this guy. The other cool thing is all of our mop pads, except for um, the towel one, are made of recycled microfiber, or sorry, recycled plastic. So they're doing double duty in the sustainability department. They're absolutely awesome. 
And this wet pad, you can see, okay, when it starts looking like this, it's probably almost time to send it into the wash because <laughs> this is looking a little grimy. Um, but this will be good to go. So the wet pad is like having an enviro cloth for your floors. It picks up everything down to the bacteria, the proteins, all those things. Um, unlike when you're doing a dry sweep, when you're doing a wet mop, you're just going to do a forward backward motion like this in straight lines. Um, because you want, you don't want your mop to flip on you. So you're going to follow the grains on your hardwood or the sides of your laminate or whatever kind of floor you have. It's great on all floor types and you're just using the slightest little bit of water. So I wet this before I came on camera, but you're just going to take a piece or sorry, take a spray bottle and just mist it. So it's damp. If you use too much water on this pad, you are going to end up with streaks on your floors and nobody likes streaky floors. So don't do that. Just get it damp. It's just like your Enviro. More water does not equal more clean. So just damp, bring it out and you're set. So this one just missed it because it's hard to wring out. It's very sturdy um, and you'll be very happy. Now, if you are not using too much water, you're just misting it and you're seeing streaks on your floors, that more than likely is because you're finally breaking through the chemical residue on the surface of your floors and getting it down to a base clean, which is absolutely incredible and it's so exciting. So keep at it. It often takes like six or seven passes with our mop to get that floor to a base clean again and get rid of all of that residue, especially if something like a wet jet has been used on it in the past, um, those leave a ton of residue behind. And you might even find in the beginning, it's hard for your dry mop to even pass over it because there's so much residue, but keep at it. I promise you'll be happy. And after like six or seven passes, you'll find your floor stay clean for longer. They're not attracting all the things they did before because there's no more residue. It's just a base clean. It's incredible. Your floors have never been as clean as they are with the Norwex mop. And that's why people are so obsessed with it. Um, it has a silver. So once you're done washing, rinse your pad under nice warm water, rub it against itself. This is what it looks like when you're lazy and you don't do that. <laughs> it's full of greeblies. And then hang it by the hook to dry and it's good to go for next time. You don't water it every time, um, not even close. This guy, like you can use it like eight or more times if you want. It's good to go, especially if you're rinsing in between, okay? Now, if you have tile in your house or grout or really textured flooring, you might want to give this one a try. This is our tile mop pad. It's absolutely awesome. It's a wet pad and all of our pads are labeled. So you can see on the back, it says damp wet. So it tells you it's a nice little reminder so you don't have to remember which one's for what and which one's, you know, gonna be wet, which one's dry. They all tell you. Um, this one's got a bit of a higher pile to get into the grout or those textured floors. And it's got these blue rubber bristles, which are fabulous for also giving you that extra scrubbing power in textured floors or in grout. Absolutely awesome. This wet pad is a must have if you have tile or textured floors in your house. Same thing as the other one, just mist it with water and you're good to go. And last but not least, the piece de resistance is our window cloth mop pad. This is, oh my gosh, incredible. Now, a lot of people don't realize that you can use our mop, obviously on the floors, but you can use it vertically to dust and wash your walls and to wash your windows. And if you're going to use it vertically, I just recommend that you take this little green lock here at the bottom of it, flip it up, until it snaps into place. And then you will lose your all around swivel and you will just have your side to side swivel or your front back swivel. And that is the aim for this. So that will stop your mop from flipping on you when you have it against the walls or windows. Absolutely awesome. Um, when you are doing your window, obviously inside you just use your basic package. It's so quick, so easy. Damp Enviro to clean your windows inside. Dry polishing or window cloth to polish them to a streak free shine after, awesome. But when you get outside, no more mop and bucket, no more mixing your cleaners in a little pail and whatever and dumping it everywhere or trying to climb a ladder and not break yourself. It's amazing. And this mop has so much extension, check it out. So it's like much taller than me. And depending on how tall you are, when you reach out, you can actually get like up to six feet of extension. It's crazy, maybe even more than that. So this is a great way to wash and polish your windows. All you have to do, slap your wet pad on, wash your windows. Then you take the window cloth mop pad and you polish them to a streak free shine. It's such a dream. And if you scoot the pad to the end, so you'll see if you have some overhang here. If you scoot it to the end, your pad becomes very firm at the end and you can really get into those corners nicely and polish them too. So window cloth mop pad, it's a dream. You can add this to your order if you are like me and you are the one responsible for cleaning your windows because it makes life a lot easier if you're not hiring it out. 
Now, there are three ways to get this beautiful mop of ours. One is to buy it. It's 140 bucks. That's great for me because I make excellent commission. But there are two other ways that I would much rather see you get a mop in your house. One, host a demo just like this. It's so much fun. I get to spoil you and your friends with a whole bunch of good times and great products. And you get so much for free. It's like three to $400 my average host gets in free products. And I think that's actually a little lower than recently. Um, and uh, the third way, join my team, please. We're having so much fun. This is a great way to make some income on the side of whatever you're doing. Or maybe you need a little more than a little side gig. Um, you can work this business as much or as little as you want. And I would love to have you on my team. And this mop, you can earn it for free very easily in your starter kit by hitting some minimum sales. So if you're curious about that, please let me know. I would love to tell you more. And I can't wait to show you the rest of the products I've got in store for you. Oh my goodness. If you have been enjoying the product post today so far, you will love the rest of them. And don't forget to get your order in after the product post tonight before midnight because I have a special offer for you. Talk to you real soon. Thanks, ladies.